What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a 20 Tesla tires, Michelin $700 tires to install on this baby. This is the Model Y. What we're going to do is, we're going to open this trunk, if I can find the damn lock. To lift this baby, you do need a, you do need a lifting uh, pad kit. Look something like that. I got a full video on that. Check that out. So what we're going to do is be these are Michelin uh, Sport Pilot Sport all season wheels. They're expensive. They're not cheap. There it is. That's what they look like right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on this baby and we're going to install them, lift this baby up and look underneath as well. Okay, so I got a pad on each point uh for all four sides and this baby is ready to go up in the air that's how she feels about it let's see how my lift feels about it ah. all right we're up in the air guys There you have it. I don't want to go too high. First time, I kind of, it is like a little bit more to the front, but I'm fine. Uh, shocks, a lot of freaking salt back here. So we're gonna get this baby all washed up and cleaned up several times. All this shit. We don't even know what the hell this is all. What is all this shit? It's like rocks all over. It's cool, it's cool. And underneath, it's all covered up. But we are gonna open this covers up, couple of covers up, and we're gonna look down here and see how it looks down here. There's our calipers. And we should be able to do a lot of maintenance on this baby. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off the wheels. But look at the tires on this baby. Look at the tires. <laughs> They're gone, they are shot. That means I'm gonna have to check the suspension, get alignment done. I don't know what happened with this guy. I don't know why. He's Tires are shot, so you can put some greasing into this baby. Uh, it is known to squeak. Uh, so, right here, right here, where we are. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lubricate this. We're going to check for place or anything like that. We're going to check the lower ball joints and upper ball joints. So, what I usually do is... I usually go to my mess in here and I go and check my, use my pry bar to check the joints here. So, whoop, this is shot. This ball joint here is shot. This ball joint is shot. So we're gonna have to get this control arm. It is not gonna be fun to do. It is. It's not gonna be. There you go. I can feel play in here. I can feel it. I can feel it in here. Okay, I'm gonna check the bottom one in here. Bottom one's gonna be something different to check. So it's most likely the top on this shot. And uh, I definitely heard the noise coming from right here. Definitely, definitely heard the noise. Okay. There you go. Bad freaking. And it's not gonna be fun to do this. We're gonna have to remove uh we're gonna have to remove this whole strut base here. Cause remember that bolt. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna call Tesla up. See if they cover me under warranty. Which I doubt. Definitely, definitely bad control arm here. So let's go on the opposite side. So there's going to be no lubrication in there. We're not going to lube nothing up there. You see that? This side's fine. This side is fine. And I hear the noise from exactly from that side. <laughs> Woo! I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about this. What I want to do is at the same time while I'm doing this, I'm going to look down below to see the bottom 
I'm sorry, bear with me, guys, here. So I'm going to check the bottom out, too, while we're doing that. So it's most likely up there. Okay. I don't see nothing moving down here. So we got ourselves a bad. Yep, yep. If I put my finger here and I do that, I feel a bounce in here. So that's what it is. There's no greasing, no nothing in this baby. It's gonna need a replacement. This is definitely gonna need a replacement. Shouldn't be a big deal, but long as Tesla can cover us, good. If Tesla can't cover us, we'll get ourselves a control arm. We'll bring that base down because they got a couple of bolts. The whole uh, strut assembly should come down. And uh, we'll do a little bit of dismantling here. That's fun. Good for us to do. Anyway, guys, uh, there you have it. But usually what I use is uh, I have this uh, needle here, okay? If you guys ever want to grease anything, this is the needle with the grease gun. I usually throw some greasing in there, and that takes care of that. And I might do that for meanwhile. And you know what? Let me do my tires first because I got tires to do. And then we'll get back to that. So we actually narrowed it down to exactly what we need here. Control arm failed on this baby, 40,000 miles. Okay, we're about to do tires on this baby. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here. I usually use this pick, but create yourself so like a wire hanger. Just, just make something in an L shape. So what you do here to get this guy off, uh, to get the Tesla center cap off, if you got this type, all you're gonna do is go in there and you're gonna just pull really hard on it. And it's gonna come out, but I really wasn't expecting that baby to drop like that hard. But there you go. These are like a 21 millimeter, and we're gonna get these babies off. Okay, once we have the cap off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here. This is a 21 millimeter. <laughs> Bada bing, I'm gonna have to get some wheel locks <laughs> for this baby. <laughs> Definitely gonna need wheel locks. <laughs> Live in the city. People just take, steal your cars, they leave you on four bricks. Anyways, I'm gonna take both the wheels off and then we'll meet at the tire machine. So we got both wheels off. What we're gonna do is we got the cap off here. We're gonna release the air from this baby and then we'll put this on the tire machine. This is gonna deflate the tire, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm about to bring the tire over to the tire machine. Uh, so, as you take off the pressure, you might hear some clickety clackety from the car, that's fine. So, you, your wild stem is your sensor. You don't want to damage that sensor. So, try to uh, keep the sensor away. You see, I'm breaking the bead from right here. The sensor's like all the way up here, like over here somewhere, but um, that's where I'm going to break the bead from. So, my machine is kind of crappy, so bear with me, guys. So, I'm going to go around the camera here. I'm going to hold this here. So, the key here is not to damage the rim slowly. Break that bead, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip the side over. I'm gonna go around the camera one more time. I'm gonna flip the side over. And uh, again, keep the sensor away. The sensor's like almost, the sensor's like on the bottom there on the opposite side. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, guys, one more time. That's, uh, yeah, where's my tool? So it is a big bore on this rim, so I'm going to try to break the bead at one more spot. So what I want to do here is, I am going to just try to, okay, my sensor is like over here now. My sensor is totally far away from the machine. The sensor is like all the way over there. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Time for us to take this onto the tire machine itself. So we're gonna maneuver our camera like up here and you guys can focus there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this baby and my machine does 20 inch rims. That's the maximum. It will not do 21, it will not do 22. So don't call me, don't ask me if you guys have any questions. Uh, you can send me a message, but your tire shop shouldn't be able to break that. They should not be able to break that sensor, so just be careful with the rim. The key here is uh, not to scratch the rim, not to damage the 
if you don't feel comfortable, some of these shops, they feel comfortable as long as they take your money. So if they don't feel comfortable, don't let them do it. So what I like to do is put this on and I like to adjust my machine. So just, it's enough. Okay, let's see. Can you see guys? Okay, I'm sure you're gonna. So this is what we did. So all I do is push down on the bead here. So this is where we focused at right now. Um, 20 inch, 20 inch wheels on this baby. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim the camera from up here. This is perfect right there. Um, so I adjust my machine so that way I don't hit that rim whatsoever. Lock it up. I like to use as much as possible a liquid. Uh, this is just water based. Uh, you don't want to put any oil or anything. So bring the sensor right over the neck here. Okay, so this is another issue. If you got a plastic for this, this is my personal vehicle, so I'm not worried about. Don't worry, I'm not gonna scratch it, even though it's my personal car. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the bead to come up above this bead uh, remover. They call it a duck. Okay, sometimes you need to do it twice. If you need to get off, start over, over. You should, okay? Don't be a monkey. Like, right now it's no good to me. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back a bit. And we're gonna try one more time. Same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing here again. But this time I might, I might wait till the bead comes above this little guy. If I go further and grab it from the further end, it will push it forward. And my bead is still not where I want it to be at. So I'm gonna try it one more time with a different. There you go. It has reached up above so slowly. I could take one of my tools off slowly. The sensor's right there. It's easier than I have to do it. We're gonna bring the sensor back one more time. You cannot break that TPMS sensor. Now the critical part, you have to go up. Your tool has to go up with the bead and your, see how my tool went up with the bead? So right down here, same thing, same process. If you wanna spray some liquid here, just avoid the sensor, even though the sensors are kind of waterproof, water resistance. And, okay, look like it's gonna, wanna, it's gonna drop back. I'm gonna use my second tool to assist it. There you go. There's your sensor right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Taking it off is not a difficult. Okay, our rim is not scratched whatsoever. Remember when I did this, you heard it in the clock. Avoid that, try to wrap it up with a rag or something, but uh, so make sure your rim is nice and clean in here because snow falls over time, your rim will, your wheel will leak. So make sure that doesn't happen. There you go. So everything looks good. Other people worked on it before, they did some awesome crap there. Okay, so, there's our new wheel. It's fine to put it over here. It's fine to do that. Let's take this baby off. And let's remove all this. You always want to inspect your new tire. Uh, also, there's inside and outside. So you will see it says outside here. It says outside here, so this has to be facing up, upward, okay? So what I like to do is, I like to spray this whole bead down with some kind of solution. And there you go. Bada bing, bada boom, rub it, scrub it. Now, remember, now, the sensor is gonna be the furthest point. Okay, the sensor is gonna be the furthest point. So the sensor is like all the way at the edge. Okay, there you go. And it's gonna be the last part to drop in. So our sensor is like over there. Just keep eye on it. And just make sure facing outward, just to confirm it. Where did it go? Offside, right here, outside. 
there you go. Bada bang, bada boom. Same thing, we're gonna bring the sensor here. I like to use this little tool. Don't worry, it doesn't scratch anything. Um, it just, it's just like another hand for me. And this baby goes in. And so last part that's gonna drop is where the sensor's at. So just go along, follow along. Little bit didn't go in. Since it's a big tire, that will happen. So be careful. I did kind of had a fear that it started to go down from here. So you want to avoid as much as possible. This tool comes off. The rim has no scratch whatsoever. If you guys want me to do this, I can take full uh, challenge of doing this. If you want to bring your 20-inch uh, wheels to me, I cannot guarantee you scratches. Even though I will do my best, best. Um, I cannot guarantee you uh, uh, anything, but I will do my best just like it's my car, even though I slack a little bit here, but no scratches on this rim whatsoever. So, a little bit of a. Uh, and I will clean out the internal for you. Money talks, bullshit walks. So, anybody wants me to do that, I will be charging you. Now we're gonna put it to 40 PSI, even though it says 45. It's getting hot in here. Uh, it's summertime, so this air is, if even if I leave it at 38, it will reach to 40 PSI, 41 PSI. So this is what we're done. Balancing is the part that you're not gonna see me do because my balancer is not the greatest. My balancer is not the greatest, but I am gonna be balancing this, baby. So something like that, you, I would recommend you take it to somebody. I do slow driving local. I have no problem. Okay, there you go. And once you get new tires, make sure you get alignment done. So this is all done, bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions on the tires, I got them from TireRack.com. I paid about 700 bucks. The seller actually got me the tires. And there we have it. Put the cap on. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching my video, guys. And uh, keep buying your tires. Sometimes these tires will leak from over here. You don't want that. And again, thank you for watching my video. Um, the reason why it will leak from here is because brand new tire will take time to seat itself perfectly 100%. Sometimes it will leak, not now. So even if you check, it might not leak, but it might leak once the uh, car pressure load is on it. Okay, so I'm balancing these wheels. Uh, it's a mess here, but it's zeroed out already. So what I did was I took out all the weights. I was gonna use sticky weights. So I ran this baby. High speed balance. And it comes out to zero. There you go. The wheel has stopped and it's zeroed out. Anyway guys, do balance your wheels. I needed no weight on this. I removed all the old weights you can see on the floor. There's like small little plates there, there, there. I took out all the old weights. Do take off the old weights. Don't leave them on and do the balancing properly. Thank you for officially watching my video. Stay tuned for more videos on this Tesla Model Y.